Hey, what's going on YouTube? So in today's video, I want to do another unboxing video. Um, and this is kind of a special to me at least, uh, just because uh, this is one of those items that has been in my bucket list for quite some time. And finally, I got my uh, hands on one of these. So, and I'm super excited. So I want to share with you guys. So without any for uh, further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this is... As you guys can see here, pistol SP5, chamber in nine millimeter, made by Heckler and Coke. This is a real deal, made in Germany, made in the same factory where the original S uh, MP5s are actually made. Only difference is obviously this one is made for civilian market, for commercial market. Otherwise, uh, as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, as far as I know, uh, everything, including the machining, barrel, the, even the magazines are, are, are all the same as um, as they make for military and law enforcement. Uh, famous uh, MP5. So this is the box and this is what it comes inside a box. So let's put it over here. So I'm gonna get this bag out. So let me actually turn it around here so you guys can see. There you go. Hope you guys can see it. There you go. So this is what it comes inside a box. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the bag out from the box and then uh, I'm gonna continue the video. So here's the box. Um, it's typical HK box. Uh, I mean the bag. I'm sorry. It's not a box. It's a bag. Uh, typical HK range bag. Um, uh, I got a very similar bag or two bags actually uh, that came with my MR762 as well as MR556. But obviously, since those are actual rifles with longer barrel, um, those two bags actually uh, a little bigger than this. But this is what came with uh, with my... Uh, sp5 i'm gonna go back and forth with sp5 mp5 I, I get confused sometimes myself so uh forgive me for that but you guys already know so this is a this is a, a sp5 which is a civilian version of M, uh, military grade and uh, law enforcement grade mp5 so uh but you guys already know what i'm talking about so if i for some reason say mp5 please forgive me it's sp5 but either way let's go ahead and open it back so it's got two pouches here up front, a bunch of these uh, kind of like a loops where you can attach additional uh, uh, accessory attachments. Uh, like I remember back in the military, we had those magazine pouches and stuff like that that would go through here and uh, uh, similar, you know, like goes through the loops. So I'm assuming you can do the same thing. It does have Velcro attachment here. You can slap in a flag or whatever patch you have uh with your name tag or whatnot so like i said it's got two zipped uh pouches pockets here on the side one on each side so i gotta say this is this feel, this bag actually feels uh kind of better quality compared to my uh other two uh that came with mr556 and mr762 those especially 556 came with some like a um, I mean, it's the same layout. However, that one felt really cheap, actually. And if I'm not mistaken, like one of the pockets, it actually had even like a small tear. So, and but then again, I know I'm ne never going to be using these anyway. So, this is just going to go into my storage room once uh, I get this thing out of this bag. So, let's go ahead and open it. And there you have it. So. Here is the start of the show. So I'll be completely honest. This is my second time opening this. Uh, obviously, I, I opened it for the first time when I was picking this item up. And then uh, I picked it up and I haven't touched it since then. It's been some time. It's just been I've been, I've been busy with other things in my life. So... I haven't had a chance to open it after that, but finally I, I got I got some time to actually make some video and let you guys uh, 
go through this with me. So anyway, there she is. So I'm gonna um, attach these and get this baby out. So there you have it. SP5HK, that's the serial number, and there you go. And just to make sure that's clear, there's no round in the chamber. And let's do that while we add it. There you go. And then what do you do? Slap it. So there's the pistol itself. So I'm gonna put this put this aside for now while we go through with the rest of the stuff, whatever comes in the bag. So it does come with operator's manual. So once you, when you own HK, you're not just a user, you're an operator. So just keep that in mind. SP5 series, operator's manual. It's got a picture of uh, SP5 as well as SP5K. Hopefully in the future, someday, I'll get lucky enough to get one of those as well. But for now, this will do it. It's got nice pictures, uh, a good quality manual. I mean, got my receipt in there. There we go. So anyway, this is what it comes in the manual. And there's another pouch here that has your sticker, your gun uh, lock, and a whole bunch of other things, paperwork. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you guys with those. Uh, more interesting stuff is more uh, coming. So you, you get two 30 round German made original MP5 magazines. So these are very good quality. I understand these cost a lot of money. I mean, they're not cheap magazines, but I gotta say, these do feel quality. So, and you get two of these. And keep on continuing here. And then um, you get your tool. This is to adjust your sights, if I'm not mistaken. And you get this bungee sling, which I'm not gonna be using. I already picked up a sling for for my pistol it's a uh, original mp5 um german actually surplus uh, military use surplus sling which is i mean it, it's in a really great shape actually it's hard to tell it's being even actually used in great great shape and uh those videos are going to be coming actually once i start uh, accessorizing my um my mp5 but for now and this is it actually so this is empty and like i said so this is all you get in a bag along with your pistol as well as your two 30 round magazines so there you go so now let's go ahead and uh get the bag out of here and then uh just briefly talk about this i'm just gonna walk you through and then i'll uh, let you guys see what what comes in here but uh otherwise um in terms of what comes in a box or in a, inside a bag this is all you get, so just bear with me. Oh, by the way, before I actually put the bag away, I just wanna let you know, these are actually Velcroed, so you can actually reposition them depending on your, uh, on your preference. So let's say if you wanna actually use this bag um, as a range bag or as a carry bag, uh, you can reposition these and then uh, just, you know, strap your uh, pistol the way you like it. And this, this pocket right here can be used for either carrying a magazine or for uh, a suppressor. So, yeah, and then same goes with this. This one is also Velcroed, so it kind of comes off. I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, but, um, yeah, just I figure I'll let you know. All right, so now let's just talk about this pistol just a little bit. And let's just kind of go over it. So, in the bag, you do get this uh, sling swivel here um attachment if you want to put a sling um uh trigger obviously uh it's a it's a hk trigger oh, by the way let's just clear it once again since i attached the magazines 
magazine actually, although it is empty. There you go. And ch chamber is still clear. So there's no ramp. Um, but yeah, um, trigger is a, it's a typical HK trigger. It's, it's hard to explain. I mean, if you guys been around HK products and if you guys had any experience with any uh, HK stock triggers, this feels pretty typical. HK is not really known to have all that great trigger. However, I personally am completely fine. Here's the reset. Uh, and here's the break. Once again, a long reset. And not so much tactile. So it's kind of, I'm assuming if you're wearing a glove, you may not even actually notice the reset. Um, but anyway, <coughs> trigger is just typical HK. I know a lot of people um, talk about this uh, trigger and some people, you know, recommend changing the trigger like as soon as you get a, this and all. But I am not a trigger snob. And to be honest with you, I mean, I'm completely fine with this. I Although I haven't shot it yet. But then again, this is, uh, I'm not going to be beating this uh, gun. It's just, it's a special gun. Um, not necessarily cheap. And... Uh, and I'm willing, I'm, I'm planning on keeping it forever, pretty much as long as I can. So I'm not going to be beating this gun. So this is more, uh, most likely is going to be my more of a, a safe queen. So I'm not going to be messing, uh, customizing it too much. Uh, I will be, however, adding actual accessories. I already bought some accessories to it. So I'm going to uh, make future videos uh, accessorizing this uh, pistol. But I'm not going to be messing with its original configuration, pretty much. Anyway. Um, moving further, uh, you get these uh, pedals here through mag full magazine release, and you also get uh, this button here, like the magazine full magazine. So it's actually redundant, so you get two. And I personally just naturally start using the pedal, um, just but just because uh, I kind of like this pedal uh, release. And <clears throat> just to demonstrate, um, let's put one of the magazines. As you can see, it's clear. Lockup is super nice. There we go. Sorry. Um, Lockup is super nice. No play. Well, I mean, there's a little bit of play, but not so much. But otherwise, it's it's like I said. I mean, magazines are phenomenal. Quality is great, and it locks up quite nicely. There's the other side. There we go. And this is the button I was talking about for magazine release. So. You can use this to release the magazine, or we can use the pedal here, and it comes up. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, moving along, you get this thick plastic um, handguard, and it's quite okay, actually. I mean, there's nothing really much to talk about this. I mean, it's just a handguard, and does the job. Nice and thick, so, but uh, yeah, it doesn't have any serrations or anything like that. So uh, <clears throat> under stressful conditions, it may be slippery. I don't know, I would assume. But then again, if you're wearing gloves, I'm assuming you'll be okay. <coughs> and uh, here's the <clears throat> uh, charging handle. Um, it's got this plastic actually I thought it was rubber but it does have these serrations here so it's easier to purchase here and grab <clears throat> um, up front um, you get these sights obviously uh, we will talk about the sights but uh, for now uh, it does get it does have this uh, uh, thread locker uh, adapter actually to protect the protect the threads if you want to run it suppressed so it's kind of long but super soft because it's it's got oil and all that so there you go <clears throat> if you guys can see it so it's one and a half by 28 <coughs> right hand twist 
Then I put it back. Oh, actually, let me just show you guys the, the tip of the muzzle as well. There you go. See the threading. And while we add it, since we actually brought it up closer, uh, it's got a trilog adapter here. If you want to use uh, what's actually meant for this uh, suppressor, that what's meant for to be ran on this um, on this pistol. Uh, so either you can use the trilog uh, adapter without actually removing the the thread locker, or you can just use traditional suppressor and just um, attach it to a muzzle without using this uh, trilog. So let's put the protector, muzzle protector back. All right, let me bring a little more up close. So you do get this uh, loop here that you can attach your sling, I'm assuming. Um, and then the sights, very iconic typical HK MP5 sights. I hope you guys can see it and I hope camera is catching it. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm using this camera holder and I can't really see what's being recorded much. I'm only seeing half of it. And uh, I hope you guys can see the sights. But anyway, let me send this charging handle back home. There you go, much better I'm assuming. And um, so the front side post is typical, I mean, MP5, and then the, the rear, the, the most interesting one was actually the rear. So when I picked this gun, <coughs> one of the first things I was gonna do, good thing actually I haven't ordered it, but uh, one of the first things I was gonna get is the uh, diopter, uh, the rear side, because from what I've been told and what I've been actually seeing or watching on some of the YouTube videos, that a lot of people said that their MP SP5 actually didn't come with the up there closed like a drum uh, sight in the back rear side, but uh, surprisingly mine actually did, and this is a brand new gun, so and you can rotate it to adjust for for distance, whatever distance you're shooting. But anyway, and mine actually did come with this. So I don't know if HK changed it, if this is something new or my gun is just some, uh, one of the lucky ones that came with this, but I don't know that. But uh, all I can say is that mine actually did come with drum side. So I'm just glad that I didn't order this until I actually saw the gun. But uh, anyway, so that's the rear side and you guys already saw the front. Um, and here's the top ones again. And here's the other side. There's not much to talk about on this side. Uh, it is, so the safety lever is ambidextrous. As you can see, it's on both right and left sides. Uh, magazine release can be considered as ambidextrous since it's got this middle pedal here, although this button actually only on one side, so it's on the right, uh, whereas the left side doesn't have it. Um, Otherwise, charging handle is only on one side, so and that's pretty much it, actually. Um, what else? So, you know, I mean, you can't really expect much from this uh, platform, to be honest, just, just because considering its age. It's, um, this design was done back in 1960, so 1960s, uh, it's, it's more than, uh, it's definitely more than half a century ago, so that's, uh, it's really hard to judge and, uh, find any, f you know, flaws with this just because of its age. I mean, back then, uh, not many things were ambidextrous or futuristic, so, and considering this thing is still around, it's just amazing and it's still being used. Not as popular or widely used as as before, obviously, since uh, technology and designs have moved on, but uh, considering it's still being in service and still, still so popular among enthusiasts and still holds its value, it just, you know, speaks for itself. But uh, 
Otherwise, this is all I have, guys. I mean, um, like I said, I just wanted to share this with you guys um, to do this unboxing video since it's a since it's a special kind of gun uh, to me at least. Um, you don't really get to see these every day. Uh, unless you actually sell or work in a factory or plant or use this as a duty gun uh, or unless obviously you own one but um, this is only my uh, third time actually seeing it if I'm not mistaken I only seen a couple of times in the gun gun stores and that's all uh, and in the military I never actually came across one of these <clears throat> but anyway this is it uh, I do have uh, a few accessories uh, that I already purchased for this so uh, some of them are gonna be um, just to mention the names uh, so I did get uh, nice armament uh, RAS uh, handguard so I'm gonna be replacing this I will be removing the old hang I mean the original handguard and re re replace it with the uh, RAS um, from Knights armament and I did get uh, Picatinny rail uh, adapter attachment uh, original actually H case that I'm gonna be putting on top so I can put a, a red dot and um, uh, what else um, and I want to SBR this um, you know file a tax tax stamp and um, and put a A3 grid uh, butt stuck uh, H case A3 butt stuck. And then hopefully way down the road, get a trilog um, uh, suppressor for this. And otherwise, I want to say this is oh yeah, and the and the sling. Like I said, I mean I already got the sling. It's a surplus uh, German military sling. Uh, I already got it, and I'm gonna be attaching that in here. Um, so next video about this probably gonna be <coughs> excuse me. Once I. Uh, replace some of these accessories <clears throat> the pieces that i got for this uh pistol and uh, i'll do another video yeah i'll just give you guys a general walk around once i actually accessory uh, accessorize this uh pistol once i do all the changes and uh, i'll let you guys see and then hopefully do some range videos well range videos <clears throat> they're hard to make uh especially in my case um because um we don't really have that many ranges around where I live uh, and the ones that I normally go are actually public ranges and there are always people out there, there are always noises, people shooting, uh, talking and all that and it's it's really kind of hard to make a uh, video in those kind of conditions so I do get those questions asking me hey, when you're going to do those range videos this and all but I mean I, I would love to do it it's just in my situation it's kind of hard. But anyway, for now, this is all I have, guys. Once again, uh, this is HK True um, Real Deal HK MP5 SP5. Like I said, I keep always accepting those names. This is SP5, and uh, and the military version is MP5. But then again, there's not much difference except the trigger pack. Everything else is identical. And um, there we go. This is a real deal HK. So thanks for watching guys. Um, please, if you have any questions, comments, recommendations, questions, <coughs> excuse me, um, post them in the um, comment section below. Thanks for tuning in. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. I do have a lot of other cool items that I would love to make video. Uh, I would like to make videos about them and um, let you guys see. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And I hope to catch you guys in future videos. Please be safe and have a great day. Bye.